name's Jess. You're watching DITV. I am here with Sam from National Geographic. Thank you so much for being with me. Thanks for having me. All right, so Sam, you're here at the Innovation Expo, and this is a crazy environment. Tell me a little bit about the booth that you have here at the Innovation Expo and what's going on over there. Sure, well, we've got a few things going on this year. We have one of our giant traveling maps here again. This year, we've brought a map of Africa, and so you can take your shoes off and go exploring. We're also promoting the robot screening that we're having on Friday night at 7.30 p.m. in World's Fair Park. And because of the robot screening, we're doing our engineering exploration challenge where we ask kids to solve real world problems. And this year's theme is robotics. And so we want them to develop robot solutions. Okay. Tell me a little bit more about the Robots movie. We're very excited to screen that on Friday night. Give me a little sneak peek. Great, we're excited to screen it. And it's a true sneak peek. The movie won't open until June 4th in the country, and so DI is getting a true first look. It's about 40 minutes long, and it features robots from around the country and around the world, and it really focuses on why it's so hard to build a humanoid robot. <laughs> um, it talks a lot about science and why humans are so special. It talks a lot about mobility and sensors, and really about the people that build the robots, too. All right. Tell me a little bit more about the Engineering Exploration Challenge. I know you've been partnered with DI for a couple years now, so uh, give me a little bit more about that. Sure, so we're so excited to be bringing the NGX Challenge back for its second year. Essentially, we are trying to show that STEM is a dirty, hands-on, real-world subject. And so what we're doing is we take real-life stories from National Geographic and show the hidden STEM behind it. So a lot of times when people think about National Geographic, they think about beautiful photographs but they don't necessarily know about all the STEM that goes behind it. And so when people see a picture of a whale, they just think, oh, that's a great picture of a whale. But they don't necessarily know about the cameras that we had to develop to be able to light underneath the water and think about the water pressure and think about the salt water and corrosion. So what we're doing is we take those hidden stories and we ask kids to solve those same problems. And so this year's themes uh, is robotics. And so what we want kids to do is solve uh, three challenges with robotic solutions, and our three challenges are animal migrations, how do you study an animal that can't sit still, uh, telling the story, so how do you prove that a place is special, and then extreme environments, how do you explore a place that you cannot or should not go to. All right, that sounds awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you've been here at Global Finals personally for three years now. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about the kids that you've experienced here. Uh -huh. You get to see everybody that comes over to your booth. Um, what's, the, what's the caliber of kids that are here and how's that different from what you experience on a day to day? Well, we love coming to DI. It's very rare that we get to interact with so many kids all at once. And it's so nice to be a part of a celebration of kids being smart and about kids working hard. And so we really enjoy coming here and talking to the kids, playing with them on the map, you know, doing challenges with them. It's always a great experience. And this year's not a disappointment. <laughs> So you were at our welcome ceremony the other night. We were. How was the show? It was great. It was really entertaining. We really, uh, so I'm here with two coworkers that have never been before and it was fun to watch their reactions because I knew what they were in for, but they didn't necessarily know. We loved the dancers up top and the, the musical. It was great. Fantastic. Well, Sam, thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching DITV.